we want to subtract the mixed numbers with like denominators. So the first step will be to write this problem, so the first step will be to write these problems vertically. So for this first example, we'll have nine and seven tenths minus five and three tenths. Now that it's in vertical form, we'll subtract the fractions and then subtract the whole numbers. In some cases, we will have to borrow from the whole number, but in this example, we don't have to borrow because we can take three tenths from seven tenths. So the denominator is going to stay the same, and the numerator will be seven minus three, which is equal to four. And now we'll subtract the whole numbers. Nine minus five is equal to four. However, we do have to simplify our fraction of four tenths. Four and ten do share a common factor of two. So four tenths simplifies to two fifths. So our final difference is four and two fifths. So this one was pretty straightforward because, because we didn't have to do any borrowing. Now let's take a look at a second example. We'll first write this vertically. So we have twelve and one-fifth minus three and four-fifths. So notice how the good news is we already have a like denominator, but we can't subtract four-fifths from one-fifth, so we have to borrow one from the twelve and add it to one-fifth. So let's take a closer look at borrowing from the twelve. Twelve and one-fifth is equal to eleven plus one plus one-fifth, but we could rewrite this as eleven plus, instead of one, we can write one as five-fifths plus one-fifth. So notice how this would give us eleven and six-fifths. So notice how by borrowing one from the twelve, we can rewrite this as eleven and six-fifths. So this is the same as eleven and six-fifths minus three and four-fifths. Again, the reason we had to borrow is we can't subtract four-fifths from one-fifth. We had to borrow from the twelve. Now that we've borrowed, we can subtract. So six-fifths minus four-fifths would be two-fifths, and eleven minus three is equal to eight. So our difference is eight and two-fifths.